Ever since the second generation Raptor made its debut in 2017, a nation filled with truck enthusiasts were asking themselves, why does it have a twin turbocharged V6? Now we all know the Raptor is amazing on so many levels. It most likely has the best suspension ever fitted on a truck. It is also most likely the best and most menacing looking truck ever made. But one thing it lacks is that it sure as hell does not sound like the most menacing truck ever made. So today I'm in a 42 degree Houston, Texas visiting PAX Power because this company has indeed created what every truck enthusiast in the country has been waiting for and that is a V8 Raptor. So in today's video I'm going to do my best to try to explain how PAX Power has actually created a V8 Raptor. I mean what goes into making a regular truck like a Raptor with a V8. So it goes without saying that we'll start with the heart of the beast here and this is of course a 5 liter V8 and it is supercharged by Whipple. This produces 758 crank horsepower. So no longer do we have the twin turbocharged V6 EcoBoost producing a measly 450 horsepower. Let's look at this big intake. We all know who Whipple are. They are proven in the industry. And with the truck having a V8, it sounds like this. With a full exhaust from Corsa, we finally, finally have that V8 sound from a Ford Raptor. All right, all right, but let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Did this truck start out as an actual Ford Raptor? And the answer is no. It is based off of a Ford F-150 Platinum because as we all know, a Ford Raptor is, yes, it's a Baja King, absolutely amazing off-road, but also great on a regular road. So with a Ford Raptor having every luxury feature available for a Ford F-150, it made sense for PAX Power to start their V8 Raptor build in a platinum trim F-150, which is the second highest trim that you can get for the F-150s except for the Limited. But the Limited is only available with an EcoBoost engine. So if we slowly but surely start talking about what makes a Raptor different from a regular F-150, I thought we could start up front here. Now this truck has OEM Raptor headlights. Of course we have the grille, also an OEM part from Ford. Now the front bumper here, which is customizable for this demo truck, Pax Power chose to go with an aftermarket bumper, and this is a Fab Four bumper. They have a rigid industries light bar up front. Now if the customer wants to, they can of course get a uh, OEM Raptor front bumper. And then we have the fenders. A Raptor is six inches wider than a regular F-150. This is also an OEM part. We have the fender flares, OEM Raptor flares, and then of course the suspension. So this is OEM Raptor suspension. Now the front is slightly lifted. We have three inch Fox shocks. We have the same suspension travel up front and in the rear that a regular Raptor has. And we have custom V8 Raptor graphics on the rear fender, which is also OEM from Ford to make it Raptor wide. Tail lights are OEM Raptor tail lights. And as you might be able to tell here, they kept the platinum badging on the tailgate here just to make it a little bit different. Of course, if the customer wants the original Ford badging like a Raptor has on the tailgate, that is available. Now we have an aftermarket rear bumper as well. We already talked about the Corsa exhaust. And in the rear, we of course, like on a Raptor, see the Fox shocks and the bypass valve. We have uh, upgraded leaf springs 
per Raptor as well. And as I get in here with the camera to show you guys the bump stops per a Raptor, they have also been upgraded. But when we get to the wheels here, they are aftermarket. These are method wheels wrapped in Toyo Open Country RTs. Now there are so many more little nuts and bolts that you know regular people don't think about that have been upgraded on this truck to match what's actually on a Ford Raptor. So it is very interesting talking to the guys at PAX Power when you know they try to explain everything that they've done to this truck to make it a Ford Raptor. Now unfortunately I don't have the memory to uh, remember everything so definitely check out their website if you want the full details of what goes into making this truck an actual Ford Raptor with a V8. Now we are of course going to take this truck out on the road but before we do that we'll check out the interior here and for those of you who know anything about Ford F-150s you know this is an actual platinum interior and not the seats that you get in a Raptor. And for the demo truck again they chose to keep the platinum interior as it is actually more comfortable it has the massaging seats. A Raptor doesn't get the massaging seats, but if the customer wants to, you get OEM Raptor interior as well. So a Raptor, just like a Platinum, has every luxury feature that the F-150 offers. Same infotainment system, uh, the same center stack, of course. Now on the interior of a Ford Raptor, you do have a panel up here for up fitter switches now on this specific demo truck they have not yet installed that but they do do it on many of the customer trucks if that is something that that customer is looking for so anything regarding the interior can be identical to a Ford Raptor but enough talking about the interior what is this truck actually like to drive with a V8 and 758 horsepower I guess for some trucks it doesn't matter how much of a badass engine you have uh, it just I guess kind of means that you can dig yourself deeper <laughs> I'm stuck that's the uh, running board I don't know what I was doing and I got stuck I was driving through this muddy area right here and that's all fine when you got speed but not when you try to turn around all of a sudden for whatever reason and get stuck so yeah He's gonna dig himself. I got stuck, they helped me out, now they're stuck. So now the Raptor's helping the Chevy out. There we go! What a day, Ben, this turned into a towing marathon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this has been quite the day. Uh, it took some unexpected turns where, hold on, we gotta make a pull here. This is what a second gen Raptor should sound like. <laughs> Jesus. So I was doing some uh, mudding slash off-road B-roll shots, going back and forth, having a lot of fun. And at some point I made a very stupid decision to pretty much uh, slow down completely and try to make a U-turn in the mud. And I got myself a little stuck. So uh, we had some guys come and help us out. But we're all safe now and uh, it's time to get this Raptor out on actual payment because that is uh, where Raptors spend the most of their time and it's not unfortunately off-roading and doing a bunch of dune buggy Baja racing like the Raptor was made for. So PAX Power actually offers several different packages for F-150s. Uh, whether you don't want the full conversion, maybe you just want the suspension upgrade, maybe you just want the looks, uh, the fender flares, the lights, taillights, you know, the, all the Ford Raptor emblems, or maybe you want the 
full package, the full conversion, uh, the Raptor suspension, 750 horsepower supercharged V8 fenders, the headlights, the taillights, every little nut and bolt that makes a Ford Raptor a Ford Raptor. Now Ford just announced that they have a new 7.3 liter V8 coming out for the Super Duties. And with that announcement, that of course sparked a lot of hope and uh, interest and intrigue for V8 Raptor uh, dreamers and enthusiasts that possibly Ford was going to put this 7.3 in the Raptor, but hold on, another bull. <laughs> but this engine is a cast iron block and it's very, very heavy. It's push rod and I actually don't see Ford putting that in a Raptor. Unfortunately, it would make it very heavy and top heavy at that. And that's not really what the Ford Raptor needs. It's a V8, but not a heavy, heavy V8. Now we're not knocking uh, the greatness of the EcoBoost. It's a phenomenal engine. It's just boring. It's quiet. It's like a hybrid. And you don't want that in a Ford Raptor. And this is coming from someone that owns a second gen Ford Raptor with the three and a half liter EcoBoost. This truck acts, behaves, sounds a whole lot better, and it feels like a second gen Raptor should feel with a supercharged V8. Oh yeah. So if you're someone that is in the market for a second gen Raptor, but you don't want that three and a half liter EcoBoost engine. Pax Power definitely has what you want. A V8 Raptor. It is so much more aggressive than a Raptor with a three and a half liter EcoBoost. I just I can't explain it good enough what a difference this is. I have a supercharged F-150 and that is night and day from this truck it's rough and it's raw it doesn't have the suspension it doesn't have the luxurious interior that a raptor has it's just not the same it's not about just supercharging an f-150 and uh putting wider fenders on it and some cool wheels and you have a raptor that's not it you got to do the full conversion the suspension the looks you got to have the luxurious uh, starting point in this Platinum F-150 and then you got to put the supercharged V8 in there. That's when you get the full transformation. So yeah, the truck uh, definitely looks like, I guess, a Raptor should look like. <laughs> Very muddy, definitely been used off-road and it definitely sounds like one too. Oh yeah, amazing. Once again, big thanks to Pax Power for inviting me. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.